Hello everyone! Welcome back to another day where I... Hello! What's up? Where I'm just in my house and I work and eat and that's it. <laughs> Let's start with breakfast! Oh guys, guys, you see how Brian has long hair? He hates having long hair and... What's this? <laughs> and he's been threatening me about cutting his own hair and trust me, trust me, he's capable of doing it. He's not afraid of that. You know why? Because I don't care what others think about me. <laughs> not even me? Because once he was in Japan and he didn't want to go to the barber, I came home and he was trying to cut his own hair and of course he's not a hair stylist, he doesn't know how to and he was doing a terrible job and I was forced to... Let's just say I looked good. No, I was forced to help him and I'm not good. I just don't want this to happen, I just let it grow. Is this vlog going to be about my hair? <laughs> I don't know what to talk about, I'm stuck here just working. You know Brian has become Italian because he's always asking me to make fette biscottate with my grandmother's jam. If you're not Italian, I doubt you know fette biscottate. Fette biscottate are these hard biscuits, they're not sweet. They're actually kind of bland if you don't put anything on it and then you dip it in your cappuccino. Delicious. So for today, I actually thought we could do this tag. The get to know me tag questions. Number one, are you named after anyone? No. <laughs> the first question, no. Number two, when was the last time you cried? Wow. Well. I don't know. I don't remember when, but it's probably something stress related. Number three, do you have kids? If no, how many do you want? No. I want two. Baby, how many do you want? Four. <laughs> that's gonna happen. Okay, well, that's enough for now. Let's have breakfast. Okay, Brian and I are about to shoot another episode of Italian Breeze. But before that, since it's been a week, since my last update, I want to share how I'm feeling because I know that you care. Yeah, I think you do, actually. I have nice followers. I've had a tough week because um, I thought that the situation would be way better by now and since numbers are not improving that much I feel a little down, a little discouraged, a little worried so not the best week also I was supposed to have a break on April 1st, you know, to go to America I think my mind was set on having a break in April and now that I don't have it, I feel really, really tired. So, you know, tiredness plus sadness plus not being able to go anywhere, it's been a tough week. I've had ups and downs, but I want to stay positive because I know that I am one of the lucky ones. I'm lucky my family's fine, my friends are fine, so thank you. Since Brian is taking a while to come here, let's answer a few questions so that you can get to know me better. What's the first thing you notice about people? Okay, this sounds very superficial. I want to be honest. The first thing that I notice when I meet or see someone new, the shoes. I can't help it. The first thing that my eyes do is and I look down and I look at the shoes. I don't know why, it's always been like this and I know that one of my uncles does the same thing. Maybe it's in the jeans or it's something, I don't know. But I think shoes can say so much about someone, way more than a shirt. I don't know, I do it and I like it. And probably if I've met you, I remember the shoes you had. Next, what's your eye color? Oh, I don't know. It changes a lot. So, what's my eye color today? Sometimes my eyes are yellow, sometimes my eyes are brown. Hello, you're here. Okay, <laughs> babe, what's wait? No, my eye color is green. Oh, your eyes are kind of blue today in the camera. Oh, shashi. See you later. Okay, it's a few hours later, and I just published the video. I wrote the subtitles and it's time to eat. Do you want to eat, baby boy? Okay, this thing here needs to go because it's in all my videos. We need to buy a dryer. In every video, I have that freaking thing with my clothes. Not nice to see. A lot of YouTubers have those amazing houses. Oh my God. Okay, there's a YouTuber. Her name is Natasha Ocean. 
I follow her. She just bought my ideal house. That's the house I want. I'll leave the link of her video below if you're interested in knowing what house I would want, but that's just perfect, perfect. <sighs> I'm usually not a jealous type, but I'm jealous of that house. I even showed Brian, I was like, let's visualize together so we can have that house. For lunch, he did have pasta and I had two eggs and a little bit of pasta. If you wanna get with me, better make it fast. Now don't go wasting my precious time. Bye. Get your act together, we can say goodbye. So, Tell you what I want. Oh, he's acting shy now. Babe, let's do a little bit more of those questions. Sure. Favorite smells? Vanilla. Vanilla. Do you like gas? Yeah, but I know I shouldn't like it, so. I love it. So good. What's the farthest you've ever been from home? Japan, Italy, Taiwan. Okay, well, okay. Do you have any special talents? I can do this. I can also do a lot of eyebrow stuff, like. <laughs> oh, good. Where were you born? Colorado. Where? Wheat Ridge. I can never memorize this place. I don't know why. What's your zodiac sign? Taurus. Do you believe in it? I don't believe in anything. Okay. Other thank than you. our love. Aw, that's sweet. That's enough for now. Qu'est-ce que je veux te nommer? Je veux te nommer. Alright. I slept a bit and I worked out a bit. So Brian's upstairs. He's been playing Call of Duty a lot with Chris. Yeah, come here. At least they have something to do and they have fun. But I think I'll try to call him because I want to make a banana bread. He's coming. Do you want to make a banana bread? I'm playing now. I've just been ditched. But for now, I thought, since you know that I've been studying three languages at a time, I thought it's time to give you an update and try and speak the three languages so that you can see and evaluate my level now. Let's try and do this. Let's start with Spanish. Bueno, voy a empezar con el español. Intentaré no cortar nada así que veas cómo hablo español. Yo estudié español en la universidad y en el bachillerato, pero hace como, no sé, cinco, seis años que ya no lo hablo y <ríe> ya me he olvidado muchísimas cosas, como reglas y palabras y, bueno, entiendo muy bien como si escucho una canción o una película, gente que habla, puede entender muy bien. Pero si quiero hablar, no me salen las palabras y no me acuerdo las reglas. Las reglas. Y no sé, no sé. Bueno, por eso tengo clases cada semana. Y bueno, una clase cada semana. Y especialmente quiero hablar. Y quiero revisar muchísimas reglas que me olvide. I started with Spanish because it was the easiest for me. Now let's try a little bit of Japanese. About my Japanese, you have to understand that I learned Japanese living in Japan. So yes, I did go to a Japanese school for a few months, but my Japanese comes from my friends. So in a casual situation, a casual setting, it's fine. But if it's for a business, it's a little more complicated for me. So let's see. Hajimemashite, Sonia desu. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. Watashi wa Italia jin desu. Um, kedo, watashi chotto nihongo o hanasemasu. Um, watashi wa um, ninen mai Tokyo ni sundemashita. Dakara, tabun rokka getsu ni nihongo o benkyo shimashita. Sono ato, nihon no eikai wa ni Hatarakimashita. Ninen kan. Eto. <laughs> ima, ima, Roma ni watashi no koibito to sundeimasu. Mmm. Hokani. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit of Japanese, but I think maybe next time I should have a script or something like a topic. 
<laughs> it's so weird. Now, let's try with the most difficult, Chinese. Okay, honestly, I can't say much in Chinese. I've been focusing on pronunciation accent is so difficult and some verbs and stuff like that, but let's try. If you speak Chinese and you're watching this, you're probably like... Sonia. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to put some sentences together if you speak Chinese and you understood even just half of the things I said I'm happy but in a month I'll give you an update and see if I'm more fluent in Japanese, Spanish, Chinese we'll see baby boy I want to make banana bread I'm being ditched for Call of Duty all right guys, I just got done playing Call of Duty and my wife forced me to come make banana bread when I would rather be shooting people on the streets. Part of being a husband, you gotta do what wife says. Banana bread time. Yeah, just don't mind this. I was really, really happy because banana bread is one of my favorite desserts. So, yay. Guys, this is not Tony candy anymore. This is Master Chef. No, it's bake off. It's Sonia banana bread. Ready? Watch. Yes. It doesn't look good. It smells good. Cheers. Cheers. I think we've had a long day and we'll just eat dinner, watch something and go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Subscribe the vlog.